best friend. Girl, someone come get Hailey Bieber's father, bitch, because what in the obsession is going on here? So welcome back to my channel, girl. First of all, I want to give you a round of applause, bitch, because you made it another week, girl. Listen, I know there was a lot of storms in your way. I know that you felt like giving up multiple times, but here you are, and I'm so proud of you. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian, and I spill pop culture tea every day. Basically, girl, I'm like your FaceTime messy best friend, okay, who FaceTimes you all the time and gives you all the tea on everybody. That's me. So hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me we are on our way to 76k and i would just be so thankful and grateful and let's get started because girl um Haley bieber's father needs his instagram taken away listen bitch i'm trying listen i'm trying to get good with the lord so i'm trying to be nice but this man this man is just girl i don't get it so listen well i i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna come from two sides of it okay so we're gonna do two sides of the coin because there's always two sides to everything right so he has a thing about posting Justin Bieber on his Instagram stories. He never posts Hailey Bieber, right? Hailey Bieber does not follow him, nor does Justin, but her father has constantly pictures of Justin on his stories, right? So let's do the two sides of the coin, bitch, because you know I'm going to Hannah Montana it, bitch, okay? You get the best of messy boat worlds. Okay, listen. Who do you, okay, did you guys hear the rumors that she was going to do the Super Bowl uh, next year? If she does not come out with a blonde wig singing, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, you get the best of both worlds. Ooh, girl, that is a, a, a missed opportunity, bitch. Can you imagine she comes out with a blonde wig and then she's like, I can buy myself flowers. How cool would that be, bitch? Anyways, girl. So her father on Instagram is a bigger mess than Gypsy Rose and Honey Boo Boo if they had a baby, okay? A mess. Oh, Gypsy Rose is pregnant, bitch. Oh, Lord Jesus. Take the wheel. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, whatchamacallit? Yeah, so he's a mess, okay? Now, look, he's very religious, very Christian. You guys know me when it comes to faith. I'm very of faith. I, I, I respect everyone's faith. I don't, I don't put my faith on to, you know, like force it onto others. You know, I've, I've asked you guys, if you want me to pray for you, please let me know in the comments. I, I love to pray for all of you. Anyways, I always say a prayer for everyone, you know, without offending anybody. Um, just wishing you well and, and asking God and the universe to protect you. But I don't, I don't slam it on your face, if you know what I mean. I think that there is a way that Stephen Baldwin is doing it where he is mixing and we've talked about this he is mixing his religious beliefs with being an actor then Hollywood conspiracy and mental health and mixing it all up and then you get you get creepy right I mean he seems very creepy and I'm not trying to be mean but this is what I see from him from his Instagram he will post videos of him crying post videos of him being weird in Universal Studios, you know, just very odd things that you you don't want your parents to be doing. Now, Hailey Bieber, again, does not follow him, and I'm sure it's for a reason. So, Stephen Baldwin posted a video of Justin Bieber, like, a week or, or, or ago, of Justin Bieber being followed by paparazzi. And I was like, Stephen, boo-boo, girl, what the hell are you doing, bitch? The math ain't math and ho. I mean, you are posting the one thing Justin Bieber fucking hates, which is being fucking chased by paparazzi, bitch. Like, what on earth? What on the calculations of your calculator? Are, 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 they're, they're error, 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 error. Because, girl, what in the crazy? I mean, listen, posting a video of Justin Bieber being chased by paparazzi, being asked if the rumors were true about Hailey Bieber, and their marriage, and if the rumors were true about Jaden Smith, which the rumors were that Jaden and Justin were hooking up. Her father is posting this video on his Instagram stories, bitch. Like, best friend, can somebody please check on Hailey Bieber's father? Because what in the Mama June and Honey Boo Boo is going on here? Actually, what in the Honey Boo Boo, Mama June, and Gypsy Rose is going on here?
So we know that her father loves Instagram. He's the one who asked for prayers for Justin and Haley a couple months ago and caused a huge ass storm. And best friend, he is back at it, girl. Look what he posted on his Instagram stories. And look, and it's really his Instagram girl. What? Like, does that fit into the calculations of the Mama June Honey Boo Boo math? Absolutely not, bitch. I mean, damn. And now he's posting this picture right here, right? Which, listen, the other side of the coin is, you know, the father-in-law. He's proud of him. He loves him, loves the family. This is great. But when you mix everything else and you take into accountability and consideration everything else that he posts everything he'll do just seems creepy and that is what everyone is saying everyone is saying if this was just you know your normal day-to-day -day, like you know father-in-law oh he's admiring my you know his daughter's husband but because he posts random shit all the time mixed with Justin being asked about if the marriage rumors were true and the Jaden Smith rumors were true, being chased by paparazzi and then doing the crying videos doing all of these things, you're like, girl, you need to take a melatonin, a chamomile tea and take a nap because girl, something is just not right. So I understand why Hailey Bieber isn't following him. Do you know what I mean? It would hurt me so much if my father not only posting these things but may i remind you he's the same person who who asked for prayers for justin and for Haley. so i'm just like why would your father want to mix and make things worse for you knowing that already the media the press and there's a bunch of people out there who don't want them together now listen for me you guys know how i feel about it if they make each other happy if they respect each other if they respect each other's boundaries, I wish everyone well, honey. I do not, as a Selena Gomez fan, I hereby say I do not ever want Justin and Selena to get back together. They are better apart. They are better separately. Selena Gomez is thriving better than ever, happier than ever. She does not need to go back in time to be with Justin. And Justin, hopefully he's doing well. So, you know... That's coming from a Selena fan because I'm always seeing comments like, ooh, you Selena fans, all you, you're trying to ruin their marriage because you want them together. No, honey, I do not. I rather her avoid being a, a toxic environment, okay? And and that's just that's just the way I think about it. But I really do think that Haley's father, you know, he needs to take a step back from posting because, you know, it's it's becoming a little bit overshadowing Haley Bieber and Justin. And it's just looking really weird. You know what I mean? So I don't know, best friend. What would you do if your if your parents were posting this? I would just be like, girl, let me let me change her password so she can't get on Instagram anymore, bitch. Seriously, because it's just too much. But whatever, girl. What are what plans you have this weekend? Let a bitch know in the comments below. Um, we are going to watch Twister. Um, I'm very excited. My husband loves uh natural disaster movies. Let me ask you a question, best friend. You know what? You know the movie uh, San Andreas Fault? Bitch, we watched that for the first time like a year or so ago. Right? We watched it, right? And we're, as we were watching it, you know, I was like, oh my God, that's, that's, uh, they filmed it in LA. Like, you know, super like, you know, and my husband turns on and goes, yeah, of course they filmed it here. I'm like, of course, because all the studios are here. Bitch, he told me that the San Andreas Fault is a real thing and that it's here in LA. How the fuck did I not know this? Am I living in Oompa Loompa world, bitch? We are literally on top of the fucking San Andreas Fault and you make me watch this movie? Immediately there was a new fear alert. Immediately there was a new fear alert. Immediate. So now every time I try, when I go outside with the dogs, this is so true, it's so embarrassing. When I go outside with the dogs, I, I, don't, I don't stomp on the ground because I'm like, what if I'm the cause of like, 
in the very like concrete thing of it all, I step a little too fucking hard and I freaking ignite the damn San Andreas fog and they figure out it was fucking me. And then the whole California hates me. I don't think so, bitch. Um, but listen, yeah, that was interesting, girl. I was really, I, and I, I live in fear living in Los Angeles because of the earthquake. So I'm like, girl, everyone just stop walking so damn hard because you'll trigger the damn thing. And then the San Andreas fault will fucking come out, bitch. But anyways, girl, I love you all so much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.